to another Sunday edition of Witchcrafting. I'm your host, Blue August, and today <coughs> I'm going to show you my Ostara tea recipe. I know it's been a while since I've done an herb um, recipe. Ha uh ha. -huh. No, not really. I do, I do them a couple times a month. <coughs> um, excuse me. I've uh, got a little uh, frog in my throat this morning. Um, but anyway, here you see my little witch's grimoire, which has my recipe. Um, the noises that you may hear in the background are my cat, so I apologize if he gets a little rowdy. He's kind of rambunctious this morning. So anyway, let's begin. Um, I'm, let's see, I will go to my book here and open the page because I don't remember all my recipes by hand. Um, and first thing we will need is two tablespoons of green tea. As you can see here, I have the green tea already in um, my pastel. <coughs> mortar pestle I can never remember which is which um, and for my green tea I just simply go to the grocery store and buy you know the um, tea bags of green tea I can get them relatively cheap two or three dollars for a box of like 100 count and I just simply rip open the bag and put it in here you'll need about two tablespoons or mine was the equivalent of nine tea bags and while I finish dumping in this into yeah ugh, I will be back after I finish putting the rest of my green tea into my pastel all right so there's the rest of the green tea mixed in to the pastel and the next thing that we or I I'm going to add is two tablespoons of heather flowers. I don't know what is up with this camera. It never seems to want to focus. There you go. Um, two tablespoons of heather. And because I don't have a tripod for my camera, I have to add this off camera and then show you once it's added. So I'll be back. All right now we have the heather and the green tea mixed up and then I'm going to add about a tablespoon of jasmine flowers and a tablespoon of rose petals which as you can see I'm running low I need to get more of because I use a lot of rose petals in my floral teas <coughs> Let me get those mixed up and then we shall be done. Alright, so there we have them all added in. And I'm going to mix them in. And lots of times, instead of using my... Mine is actually a sausage stomper, but lots of times instead of using this, I will use my wooden spoon because I don't... Um, it's easier to mix the flowers and herbs and together with my spoon than it is my stomper. Anyway there I have those all mixed in. So oh, and this is what I will be drinking on Ostara during you know for my ritual um or after my ritual. Um, because I drink a lot of teas, and so I um usually that is the drink that I will drink for my ritual. Now to use this, you know, you can um you just add one teaspoon or at least one teaspoon of the herbs, you know, the flowers, to eight ounces of boiling water. I myself like to add a little bit more, so I will usually add up to about a tablespoon. Um, but that's just my preference because I like a stronger tea. But, um, <coughs> there you have my Ostara tea. Um, and before I go, you know, one, um, yeah, a side note. 
if you don't have green tea, which, you know, it's relatively easy to go get, you can replace the green tea with some dried raspberry leaves if you would like. Um, I use raspberry leaves a lot of times in place of tea, like the tea, the black tea, the green tea, because raspberry leaves have, are, well, not have, but are pretty close to, um, and taste to black tea. So, you know, I use that a lot, or I will just even make just a plain raspberry tea, raspberry leaf tea, because like I said, it uh, tastes a lot like the black tea. It's the closest thing that I found to that. I don't know what is up with the camera. I'm going to have to figure out what is going on with this camera. I apologize for things being blurry and out of focus. I just, I don't know. This new camera, I'm still not adjusting to. But anyway, there you have Ostara, T-Blend, and I will see you all next week. Thanks for watching.